Artemia, or brown shrimp as they are also known, are very widely used as a first food for aquaculture fish and crustacean species. The benefit of Artemia is that it is alive and very small and is therefore easily eaten by newly hatched fry and shrimps. Furthermore, Artemia are highly nutritious, resulting in good growth of the fish that are fed on Artemia. For hatching out Artemia, we use 2 litre cooling bottles that have had the bottom cut off. The bottle is then suspended in a bracket made from a piece of 110 mm pipe and a 4 mm irrigation nipple is epoxied into the cap of the coke bottle. Airline tubing is attached to one end of the nipple and a 4 mm irrigation tap is connected to the opposite end. The other end of the tap is connected to the air supply. In this way, air can be allowed to bubble into the cooling bottle under control. The process begins when we place this bottle on its stand. Connect the tap to the air supply and then place one liter of warm water from the system that the fish are in into the container. You can see the bubbles rising inside the hatching jar. Now add one level teaspoon of brine shrimp eggs to the hatching jar. Here you can see the brine shrimp are brown and very fine. Next we add a level dessert spoon, that's about 15 grams of unidized sea salt to the container. The bubbling will rapidly dissolve the salt into the water. We then leave these hatching jars to bubble for about 36 hours before they are ready to be harvested. When it comes time for harvesting, close the air supply and remove the air supply from the tap. Leave the hatching jar for about 5 minutes to settle. All the cysts, hatched and unhatched, will float to the surface leaving the brine shrimp swimming around in the water. To harvest, we place a fine piece of mesh cloth over a jug and place this below the hatching jar. Open the tap allowing the artemia and salt water to wash into the cloth. The artemia are strained out of the water and remained on the inside of the cloth whereas the salt water travels through to the jug below. As the water level lowers inside the hatching jar, you will notice the thick layer of cysts on the surface. These cysts are indigestible to the fish and should not be allowed to contaminate the artemia that have hatched. Therefore, when they get to the throat of the hatching jar, we close the tap. The hatching jar is now rinsed out in clean water, being sure to rinse it thoroughly so that it is clean and fresh for the next hatching of brine shrimp. The salty water that was inside the hatching jar as well as the salt water from the jug below the sieve need to be disposed of in an environmentally responsible fashion. Next, we gently squeeze the remaining water from inside the sieve so that all we are left with inside the sieve are the artemia themselves. We next invert the artemia cloth so that the artemia can be washed off again using warm water from the system into another jug. Once you have rinsed all the artemia off the cloth, the cloth itself is rinsed in one of the tanks with fish. The jug of artemia is then tipped gently into tanks containing newly hatched fry. In this way, the newly hatched fry are distributed to the fish that need to be fed. In this clip, you can see the newly hatched fry with the tiny artemia in the background and especially along the water level towards the top of the slide. You may not be able to see the fry actually eating the artemia, but trust me, they are gorging themselves on this delicacy.